So let's now consider uh, this first case uh, where in the first column you get a single zero there. Okay. So uh, for example, let's say uh, this is probably some example in your um, course. Um, so let's consider this one. This is a closed loop transfer function for that. Um, let's go over here and understand by this example. Uh, now again, like you know go back over here uh, see we, we said that there are two two uh, steps to create uh, in the route service criteria what is the first step like you have to create the route table and second step is to understand that uh, so how you start the route table you just look at the closed loop transfer function and then look at the denominator what is the highest power over here you go in the next page uh, you see over here now, instead of S4 in the previous example, like it's starting from S5. S5, S4, S3, S2, S1, and S1, all the way down, okay? That's how you start away. Uh, we just look for the coefficients, uh, S, C, S5, S3, and S1, all right? So one, three, and five, okay? So you go to next. So S5, you know, is uh, one, for S3 is three, and S5 is, uh, S0 is, the coefficient is five. How about S4, S2, and S0? Uh, S4, what is the coefficient for S4? It's two, uh, S2 is six, and S0 is three. Two, six, and three, right? So you can just write it here, two, six, and three. So again, uh, route service criteria, first step is to generate the route table. In the route table, first step is like, you just write on the left half side, how many, uh, starting from the highest degree of the denominator as five in this case all the way down to s naught second you put the coefficients that you get it from the uh, polynomial uh, denominator uh, there okay so it's one three and five for s5 s3 and s1 and s4 s2 and s naught is two six and three all right that's the first step that you do it all right now the second step is that like you know uh, you put the rest of the values you, for the rest of the values actually you have to calculate these value you can just get it from the uh, transfer, uh, closed loop transfer function, all right? But the rest of the values, rest of the values in the table, you have to calculate. How you calculate this value, as we have defined previously, this minus sign, then determinant of, you look at the upper two rows, okay? One, two, and three, and six, divided by this value uh, is two, basically, okay? Now, if you just look, take a determinant of this thing, a one, two, three, and six, so how you take the determinant six minus six, it will come down as zero here. Say three minus eight, three minus eight with minus sign, so minus five. This will become the seven by two and the next value is always zero. All right, just follow that table and you can easily calculate this value. Uh, so now see here, you get a zero right here, okay? Now zero is coming in the first column. So that is a problem. So how you handle this problem? You just replace it with another value. We call it epsilon, okay? And this epsilon, uh, we say it's not zero, but it's very close to zero value, all right? Uh, but for our analysis purpose, we just take it as an epsilon. But it's some value, not zero, but close to zero, okay? All right, and this method is called, actually handling the zero is called epsilon method too. So you just replace epsilon with zero. Uh, do you get that? Okay, so for the rest, like, you know, how you find the value for this one, uh, the same formula uh, that we have defined previously. And instead of here, you just put the epsilon value here. Okay, and you solve it. And then again, for S1, uh, the same formula, you know, you do the determinant and when you solve it, you get this equation, okay? Uh, or this thing, expression. And then you can go down to S naught. 